Black People is proud to present the 40 Days for the Fintechs, an initiative and the Ace Include Everyone program, which is leading the way in advocating for technology that promotes financial inclusivity. Since 2020, we've profiled over 100 fintechs, and our inaugural edition in Tanzania is shining a spotlight on those breaking down digital barriers and transforming lives for the better. My name is Isabella Fernandez. I'm the VP of Business Administration at Busy Tech Limited. I'm a champion of products called Kilimo Bando. So Kilimo Bando is basically a smallholder product. What it does is link smallholders with all value chain providers in the agriculture sector. So when you think of Kilimo Bando, basically you think of every other factor that a farmer needs during pre and post farming management. So when a farmer thinks of, a sa of savings, when a farmer thinks of inputs, a farmer should think of also things like insurance, loans, digital loans, and also market linkages. So all these products and channels are given to a smallholder farmer via a platform and a product called Kilimo Bando. So generally, um, farmers are not um, financially included, mostly in Tanzania. So what we do, we meet farmers, we group them because most banks and financial institutions actually realize farmers who are in groups aggregated. So what we do is we introduce, we group a farmer, we, we profile a farmer, put them in a group. After putting them in a group, we give them an e-wallet ID. With the e-wallet ID, they are able to transact through our platform. So the transactions they can do, they can actually save little by little for them to be able to buy inputs for farming seasons. Also, um, they do this via USSD codes because most farmers in the rural areas do not have digital phones. So they use feature phones. To use feature phones to access our services, they dial a USSD code and they're able to save. They're also able to order for inputs and also get inputs delivered to their homes. Also, other products such as uh, getting of loans, issuing of loans, they're also they're able to request for loans. They're able to get insurance and also how to link their products to, to be able to have maximum yield. So we are the infrastructure that links all the services in the agriculture value chain to a smallholder farmer. Yeah? So with that, working with banks, financial institutions, our partners, we work with TCB, we, we are working with CRDB, currently working with Finca. So these are the people that are used to launch out the loans. So because of that, the farmers are able to save to the bank. So the bank is easier to get the access with the regulatory authorities for them to, able, to be able to issue out loans. So for us, basically, they use the platform. Um, so we started in 2015 as a company. In 2017, we rolled out the um, Agri um, network. So with that, we rolled out a platform in 2017, but through a project um, with Satif, we were able to gather a number of farmers. So we got to 140 thousand but um, in previous season last year we were able to get a project with TFRA a fertilizer subsidy project so with that we are now at 3.5 million farmers already on the platform onboarded and fully profiled most farmers are not that adverse on actually accepting technology even if it actually means well to them also the prices of fertilizer so if without the uh, subsidy fertilizer, that means the farmer would be in a really hard position because they would not be able to buy fertilizer. They would not be able to make ends meet to actually take, take care of their homes and their livelihoods as well. Being a startup, it's not easy to actually acquire proper talent. Most people who are talented would go for big, short companies, big five and things like that. So yeah, it's, the journey has not been easy, but we try. We try to innovate it because most of our softwares are developed internally. So here and there we bring in consultants who are, who are maybe experts, but to work on a timely basis. So we bring them in, making sure that they are going to actually patch up the expertise that we are lacking from within. So these initiatives are a good thing because we're able to actually tell our story through other people who are putting the initiatives in place so it is a really good thing because there's not so many of you guys so yeah it's something we are grateful for at least now we know somebody out there is going to hear about our story outside the zones that we have looked into looking into busy tech generally our website is busytech.com that ha that happens to be our twitter our facebook and our linkedin handle so if you look 
looking to be part of this collaboration, if you're looking to be part of making an impact to any smallholder farmer, if you're looking to be part of the agriculture value chain and want to make an impact to this smallholder farmer, you're welcome to meet BusyTech, you're welcome to ask more and know more about us. Join us in this financial inclusivity revolution presented in partnership with Level One Project, Information and Communication Technologies Commission, ICTC, Founders Academy, Cyber PLC Academy, Cross Lake Technologies, Infotex, Ideation Corner, and the Modulo Foundation with generous support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Follow hashtag 40 Days for Fintex, hashtag Level One Project to learn more and get involved in creating a brighter financial future for all.